Bruce Beckles Beer Reviews. I'm here with another beer for you tonight. This is a beer from Abita. And I don't think I've had this one before. This is their Big Easy. It's a uh, session IPA. It gets an 80 on Beer Advocate's Bros. Good to 79. And it is 4.5 alcohol by volume. I do love the label. And I uh, it's, it's named that because of... And Abita is brewed in uh, Louisiana. And it's the... You know how New Orleans is called the Big Easy. Love that town. Been there once, and I won. Been wanting to go back ever since. Um, and I do love love the label, the little thing there, the the boat. Uh, it says big flavor, big big flavor, easy drinking. Now, this I think came out a few years ago when the whole session beer craze went crazy uh, a few years ago. So, uh, um, or. Two or three years ago, I think, is when the whole craze of them started. And I've been favorable towards only a certain few. Um, a couple of those are Founders bit, founders All Day. Um, uh, and, uh... God, there's one other one. Uh, Stone has a, has a session IPA that I... Oh, um, uh... God, I can't remember the name of it, but Stone has one. Um... Stone does have one that's a session IPA. I can't fucking remember what it's called though, because I haven't seen it seen it in a while. But I've heard negative things about, about this, and I've watched negative reviews about it. But I still saw this in the mix in the six pack mix and match section, so I went ahead and picked it up uh, so I can take a look at it for myself. So let's go ahead and pour it. See what we got here. I'm still kind of trying to think of what that stone night stone session IPA is called. I can't fucking remember. Okay, with that pour, we have three fingers of white head. Um, kind of off white maybe. The body is mostly clear with some small 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 bubbles and a couple little streams going upward. The the color is like a yellowish golden. A little bit a little bit hazy, but it's mostly clear. It's very uh, piney, like a pineapple thing. That's for sure, and a little bit of like a citrus too. Let's go ahead and dive in. And the taste is um, less than what I was hoping for, but that's kind of the way it goes with these things. Smells really nice. It does have a nice pineapple citrusy smell. And it kind of gets you a little bit excited and then it sort of lets you down. Because the, the thing about these session IPAs is they're, they're, they were, the style is so that you can, so it's supposed to be a low, low ABV beer so you can have a few of them at dinner and you can go back to work or whatever. Or you can just have a few and not be totally smashed. That's the whole thing of these session IPAs or session beers, beers in, in general but uh, with the word session most of them most of them end, ended up being IPAs a few of them ended up being session lagers or se session ales the taste on this is and like, like I said there are a few oh stone go-to IPA that, that's what it is stone go-to IPA there are those two, and there's like one other one. I've had so many, I've had so, so many beers now. I'm starting to forget. Um, so, I'm starting to just forget some of them. That's why I plan on doing some some videos where I talk about my favorite beers in certain styles. Um, but there are some session IPAs that are session IPAs. They have low 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 ABV, and they're crushable and they're drinkable, but they still have a lot of flavor. And that's why I'm saying that that you can still be a session IPA and still have a ton of flavor. Where this one says it's big flavor, easy drinking, easy easy drinking definitely. Big flavor, no. Just no. No, it's no. <laughs> 
And I feel like something like MGD or uh, Miller High Life or Budweiser or Hams, those have way more flavor than this. Way more. This is a flop. I guess that's kind of what I expected, though, with all the negative reviews. Ugh. It's not... There's nothing bad about it. It's just so dull and underwhelming. And the, the smell had me thinking it was something else. There is a bit... There's a very subtle pineapple piney, pininess, like pine saw a little bit. It's mostly a straightforward, somewhat hop resiny hops. Very straightforward, somewhat bitter hops. Yeah, the pineapple just kind of drops really quickly. And you kind of fades out with this straightforward hop resiny bitterness, I guess. It's very, just, very dull, very, very underwhelming. Let's read, let's read what it says on the, bo on the bottle here. It says, the hot flavor is big. No. But like life in New Orleans, we're taking it easy. Brewed with lemon peels, dry hopped with Cascade, Amarillo, Centennial, and Simcoe for a hoppy aroma of citrus, fruit, and pine. Easy to drink and just right for long, hot days. Steamy nights and parades for parades or a day on the river with friends. So, it does have the pine, but I like it has so many hops. Like normally, with you when you have Centennial or Cascade or Amarillo or Simcoe hops, all of those hops lead to good things. But it just really is just taken to a much much lower level. Very easy, but. If you want a session IPA where you, where, you, where you get a lot of flavor, Founders Founders All Day is a great one. Founders All Day, I mean, if you get Founders in your area, you'll they're they're starting to give, they're given they're just they're having Founders All Day in cans and big tall boy cans. Those are good, very good. This, yeah, the feel is dry. Very light, very smooth and crushable. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go with. Go ahead and go with a C minus because it is sort of. It's just just okay. It's very okay to me. It's almost like I'll go. I'll go ahead and give it a C just be, just because it's not. It couldn't be a D because it's. There's nothing negative about it for me. For 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 it to go below a C, it would have to be. There has to be something negative, like something bad tasting about it, but there really isn't. It's just very, very dull and underwhelming and mundane and lackluster. Um, but, I mean, if you, want to, if you want to try this one and give it a try for yourself, Abita, they have some, they have a couple beers that are just, that are really good, like their Andy Gator is very good. The, the, the Purple Haze is good, but it, not if you like the, if you don't like the, I mean... People, some people think that the Purple Haze is terrible, but I thought it was good because it did have some good, some good flavor. But that is a flavor beer, not a beer itself. Um, but a beast of their beers are hit and miss for me. Like the Andigator is really good. They had a couple other ones that were really good too. But there are also some flops like this. Um, but anyway, if you want to go ahead and give this beer a try yourself, or if you have, or if you have, have had it, let me, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and let me know what, what, what you think of the of any Abita beer in general. Thank you very much for watching.